Hello my dear students and friends. Welcome to my session on Arduino in 21 days. We are on day 17. In today's session, we will see about a bigger stepper motor control that can be controlled in uh, just uh, uh, the smallest Arduino nano tiny board. Right? I will show you this in action. Let us see the part list. You need Arduino nano V3 board and uh, to driving the stepper motor and the driver for the stepper motor we need a 24 volt DC SMPS okay even uh, if you have a higher voltage SMPS uh, we can get more power more torque in the motor okay then uh, this is the stepper motor that I used actually the PSM anyway this will be available uh, as a PDF file in the link under the description okay you can get it PSM it is a 8 pole two phase uh, stepper motor actually that I used so this is the third part the fourth part is the HYDIV268N stepper motor driver that I used actually okay uh, we will see that uh, the stepper motor has 8 wires then uh, five, 4 wires only is required to give the connection to the uh, driver through the driver only we can power the motor and we can control the motor so that is this motor is connected with the driver in turn or uh, vice versa the uh, driver is connected with the motor then this driver is connected with the PLC PLC uh, the Arduino the Arduino right now let us see the motor first so uh, there are four wires out, out of uh, there are eight wires actually but uh, four wires alone is sufficient for this project uh, red is connected with the a plus black wires be connected with a minus white should be connected with uh, b plus green b minus i will show the those uh, notations here so this driver has those a plus a minus b plus b minus so according to the color wire color you give the connection okay red wire of this uh, uh, st this stepper motor connect it here the A plus ok so like that you have to connect it so the four connections is over then the DC minus DC plus the DC minus connect it the, you have to connect the this to 24 volt SMPS 0 volt to DC minus 24 volt to DC plus that is what is given here then let us see the connection uh, between this uh, stepper driver and the nano board uh, I in the program I used pin number 9 for the uh, here there is a notation you see DIR minus DIR plus PUL that is pulse pulse minus pulse plus enable minus enable plus uh, I haven't used a e enable minus and enable plus uh, this this uh, this is not required for our project actually uh, this uh, direction minus and pulse minus both you connect it to ground in the Arduino this should not be connected in this SMBS this should be connected in the Arduino board right then direction plus must be connected to pin number 8 as per the program as per the program I will show you the program now this is our program direction pin is assigned with pin number digital pin number 8 in the same way uh, the pulse uh, plus is connected with uh, pin number 9 in Arduino the digital pin 9 is connected with step pin 1 for motor 1 here we use only one motor that is why I put motor 1 you can control uh, uh, there are uh, see if you see that uh, only two digital pins are required to connect the uh, stepper motor in this way previously we saw about uh, another separate motor that rec that uh, used uh, nearly four ports actually four pins four digital pins here two digital pins are sufficient right that means uh, uh, we, we can uh, connect uh, there are 14 digital IOs right so 14 by 2 theoretically speaking seven uh, motors you can connect of course some uh, input button uh, will be requiring you know so negating those things uh, you can comfortably connect uh, five stepper motors here see from this point of view uh, this the the Arduino is more or the most powerful uh, microcontroller compared to PLC at this point of time 
द पीएलसी बोर्ड नॉर्मल पीएलसी बोर्ड विल नॉट कंट्रोल और यू कैन नॉट कनेक्ट ए स्टेपर मोटर यू हैव टू परचेस एनपीएन टाइप ट्रांसिस्टर टाइप पीएलसी बोर्ड दैट विल बी वेरी कॉस्टली द कास्ट ऑफ इवन इफ यू बाय इट इट कैन कंट्रोल ओनली एट द मैक्सिमम ऑफ टू मोटर्स आर सो नॉट मोर देन दैट सो इवन फॉर द टू मोटर यू हैव टू स्पेंड अराउंड if it is a branded one uh, real mitsubishi brand if you want to buy uh, the cost will be somewhere uh, more than 25000 or so right but uh, for 300 rupees uh, uh, the arduino you can control five motors quite easily okay so that is uh, from this particular point of view the arduino is better or the best when it comes to stepper motor so what we can do is but at the same time the reliability point of view industrial viability point of view still this th this thing lacks so what we can do is you can combine plc and arduino also together as a hybrid one or integrated one okay so uh, information apart uh, we'll see all these things uh, now uh, again once again repeat we are using only that dar minus pul minus connected to ground of arduino dar plus connected to pin number 8 pul plus pulse plus connected to 9 uh, these are the four items that we need of course uh, i need uh, the fifth item also uh, i'll be using line follower sensor as the input button line follower sensor as the input button mm, that has uh, only three signals you know uh vcc gnd and out vcc connected to plus 5 volt ground 0 volt of 5 volt power supply then uh pin let me check input button pin number 3 pin d3 in arduino so that's all there are five major parts i used okay uh, actually uh, in uh, most of the you have uh, you will get uh, thousands of uh, uh, youtube videos or even a uh, uh, project uh, thing from the internet uh, if you see the uh, big let me type under the images in the google big stepper motor so probably would have seen some 3d printers and all for 3d printers and all they will be using the nema 17 yes this nema 17 Uh, it is available for uh, 600 rupees or so uh, its uh, torque capacity is 4.2 kg cm but here you see uh, this one if you see or else okay you see this uh, 10700 rupees nema 42 stepper motor uh, it has uh, uh, 110 kg cm torque okay the 3d printer uh, generally you get uh, some inputs uh, from the internet about this nema 17 only but what i used i do not know the nema point of view i do not know uh, what uh, stepper motor that i used uh, this is almost equal to nema 34 or even more so 85 kg or roughly 80 kg centimeter 80 kg cm torque it delivers uh, that means uh, uh, torque wise or power wise uh, this stepper motor that i i'll be using now will be 20 000, 20 times uh, more powerful than uh, what the people generally use in the project arduino based project okay so that is what uh, i wanted to say that is why i showed all these things if you see that uh, you see this is uh, you see how how big it is if you have this stepper motor and this driver you can connect it straight away you can use it uh, you can use the arduino straight away okay go to the program 
so stepper header file you have to include stepper pin uh, step pin 9 direction pin 8 this direction pin will decide about uh, decide about uh, whether the motor to be uh, uh, rotated either uh, clockwise or counterclockwise so this is the input button for this i used uh, uh, a low trigger uh, line follower sensor so assigned with the d3 pin so here all the things will be calculated based on the microseconds so 2000 microseconds means it is uh, 2 milliseconds actually so uh, uh, that is the point so you config in the setup block configure step pin as output direction pin as output the input button in button one as input okay now once the input button the line follower sensor it is a low trigger one i said you know so once it uh, gets the signal the low signal uh, the the under the content uh, inside this particular uh, block uh, will be executing first the digital wire direction pin is high that means it will set the motor to supposed to rotate in counterclockwise direction then there is a for loop so i will i'll be giving 400 pulse for one rotation i require uh, 200 pulse so since i am giving 400 pulse meaning uh, the motor will rotate two two rotations two rotations and this microseconds one you know so this will decide the speed of the motor so one time it will move in counterclockwise up to this and after a gap of uh, uh, here you see i used a delay microseconds see if you use simple delay the value uh, inside the bracket will be in millisecond whereas if you use a uh, delay microseconds the value uh, entered in the within the bracket will be in microsecond actually there is another difference so step pin will be on delay microsecond off delay microsecond the loop will be uh, executed 400 times starting from 0 to 399 so totally 400 then there is a delay of one second after that the the motor motor will rotate in clockwise direction with a higher speed for higher speed why i said higher speed microseconds one by two that means 2000 becomes 1000 now if the microsecond value decreases speed increase uh, speed increases that's it this is also 400 so the point is once it is sensed the the motor will rotate uh, at a moderate speed for two rotation after then it will be idle for one second after that the motor will rotate at higher speed two rotations so that is how i wrote a program this program is available to you okay now you can test it you can see it now we'll see the image and video so this is the nano board i used and uh, sensor will be somewhere here actually okay in the other image you will be showing seeing that you see the motor how big it is this is the 24 volt smps i used this is the driver this is the driver uh, driver connecting uh, arduino and the stepper motor so this is the line follower right you see how big it is now now i kept uh, the line follower sensor here nearer to that okay so everything is visible now though you, you can see the nano the line follower sensor the motor for the motor i put a small pointer i pasted a uh, just a, a pointer so then you can see the you, you can visualize its rotation right now you will see it in action okay now you see the pointer somewhere here now i will be introducing my hand here once it sensor you see one two two rotations made then clockwise at a faster rate two rotation then second time slow two rotation clock then fast once again i i move this particular portion okay now you see the position the position of this pointer it, now after the it is sensed this will rotate at a moderate speed two rotations it makes with a moderate speed okay one two then after a one second gap it will rotate at a faster rate in anti clockwise two rotations now again i'll show you okay that is moderate speed anti clockwise two rotations 
then one second gap then clockwise speed i speed two rotations second attempt slow speed anti clockwise two rotations one second gap fast rate uh, this is how I, we we prepared the program then it has been fused in the board okay uh, then uh, you, you are you are seeing the functionality you are seeing the functionality so using uh, the arduino uh, program you can easily control uh, even at the maximum of uh, 5 to 6 uh, stepper motors at a time uh, not at a time one after the other it is a sequential process yeah, even though on one side uh, it, uh, rate wise it is cheap compared to plc you can connect uh, five or six uh, different uh, stepper motors in the uh, arduino but uh, the arduino is a sequential programmer it will it will execute the lines one after the other one after the other one after the other whereas the plc is a bit costlier when it comes to stepper motor it can control only two stepper motors but it it can control two motors at a time simultaneously not sequentially not one after the other one after the other is also possible parallelly it will it will control both the motors at a time so there is another point related to this thing so one uh, advantage is here on, uh, in arduino and other advantage there on plc okay let us make use of the uh, 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 positive things uh, which are there in both arduino and uh, plc okay so thank you that is uh, for today's session uh, if you like it uh, please subscribe my channel as i said earlier these things will be available uh, in the uh, as a link in the description okay download it then inform this to others so then uh, they will also uh, uh, get some input uh, from my channel about the controlling a bigger super motor thank you